Today, I'll share seven countries that Australia has a double tax treaty with that will provide you with low tax or potentially tax exemptions. And when I say low taxes, I'm considering the maximum personal tax rate of Australia, which is 45%, which is massive. Having a double tax treaty in place really provides quite a lot of relief that you may not consider. One aspect where the double tax treaty provides relief in is double taxes. And so what will happen is, for example, let's say I've earned some income from the UK, which is taxable in Australia. The UK has already levied tax on it. Instead of me paying that tax again in Australia and in the UK, what we do is we utilize the tax credit that was paid in the UK and offset that in Australia. Other aspects where you can utilize the double tax treaty is in tax residency, which I know is a big thing and will continue to be a significant factor in the coming years with the government's proposed tax residency rules. Another aspect that the double tax treaty works from is providing relief for certain unfranked dividends or interest income or other sort of business profits or dependent services. It's today is not to get into how double tax treaties work, but if you want to learn more, please reach out or comment below. Let's get started. Number one, and just imagine being on a beautiful tropical beach kicking back paying low taxes and today we're talking about Fiji. The dream of being on a tropical beautiful island sipping coconuts and paying low tax is pretty much everyone's dream and if you're watching this I can almost guarantee it is your dream. Fiji has quite a low tax rate at maximum of 20%. Number two, Hungary and Hungary has one of the lowest taxes in the all OECD. If you follow international tax sphere, you'll know that Hungary are one of the few countries in the world and in Europe that push against the big boys and their big tax rates. The maximum personal tax rate in Hungary is only 16%. Number three, Czechia, formerly known as the Czech Republic, and it is a stunning country with Prague, its capital being picturesque. If you haven't been there yet, I highly recommend you take a visit. The maximum personal tax rate in Czechia is 23%. Number four, Malaysia. And for now, Malaysia has a territorial tax system, meaning you only pay tax on the income derived within Malaysia. This is going to change in the next coming years. So if you've got any questions, please reach out. The maximum tax rate in Malaysia is 30%. Well, it's relatively high compared to the others. If you're able to access the territorial system and you've got overseas income, then you may even pay 0% tax. Number five, and this one's a bit left field, and it is Romania. Many of you may not even realize that Australia and Romania have a double tax treaty in place, but it does, and it provides relief when needed. The maximum personal tax rate in Romania is a low 10%. Great place to check out. Just make sure you hide your pizza boxes when you take some photos. Number six, Singapore. And this is a popular one. The maximum personal tax rate in Singapore is 22%. However, there is no tax on dividends or capital gains. So that also provides you a significant amount of relief. And seventh is New Zealand. And New Zealand is not a low tax jurisdiction. However, many people are unaware of the four year tax exemption on foreign income that New Zealand offers people. That means you can be enjoying your time in New Zealand and paying no tax on any income that you derive from outside. And just a note here on Thailand. Thailand would have been in this list if it was not for the recent government announcement. If you watch my video recently on Thai tax, it was quite popular. A lot of people reached out asking a lot more about the details of how that system works. I don't know if one of them was the government. I sincerely hope not. But it was only released that they were looking to tax overseas income in Thailand 
from potentially starting 1 Jan 2024. And what this goes to show you is that tax reform is coming everywhere. I've said it in multiple videos, I've said it to multiple people. This is one of the most difficult economic times. Government balance sheets are going out of whack with government debts increasing higher and higher and interest rates being the highest they've been in 30 years also affecting that and affecting payments. We can see the US has effectively keeps increasing its debt ceiling, never even considering trying to work our system to pay that one down. The issue that arises here is the only way governments can make money is by raising revenue and that means taxing you. So this is my warning to you to be aware and to make sure that you are always looking to optimize your taxes. If you want to learn more about how double tax treaties will affect you or how you can utilize double tax treaties, please comment below or reach out. And if you want to learn more about how to exit Australia and pay no tax, then watch this video here. Thank you.